CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.10, Given a Scenario, Install and Configure Browsers and Relevant Security Settings. Browser Settings. Before we wrap up our study of Domain 2, Security, let's take a look at one more topic. In this video segment, we will explore key browser settings that help manage your browsing experience while maintaining security. From blocking pop-ups to using private browsing, these features are designed to improve usability and privacy while keeping you safe online. Most of you may already know what a pop-up is, but let's be thorough. In the context of a web browser, a pop-up is a small window that appears over the main browser window, often showing ads, notifications, or forms. While some pop-ups are useful, many are intrusive and can even pose security risks. This is where pop-up blockers come in. They prevent unwanted pop-ups from appearing, making your browsing experience less cluttered and more secure. When enabled, a pop-up blocker scans the page for scripts that try to generate pop-ups and stops them from appearing. You can also adjust your settings to allow pop-ups from trusted websites, ensuring that you don't miss important prompts or notifications when needed. Building on the idea of blocking unwanted content, we have ad blockers. Unlike pop-up blockers that target separate windows, ad blockers focus on removing ads embedded directly into web pages. Ads can be a nuisance, but they can also slow down browsing speeds or carry malware. By filtering out ad content, ad blockers enhance both performance and security. Just be aware that some websites may restrict access if they detect ad blocking software. Adjusting your ad blocker settings to allow ads on trusted sites can support their content without compromising your safety. As you continue browsing, your browser collects information like your history, cookies, and form data. This can be useful, as it makes browsing more convenient, like autofilling forms or remembering login details. However, storing this data can be risky, especially on shared or public computers, as it could expose sensitive information. Clearing browsing data removes the stored information, reducing the chances of someone else accessing it. Doing this regularly is a good habit to protect your privacy and keep your browser running smoothly. While browsing data includes things like history and cookies, the cache is another important piece of the puzzle. The cache is essentially a temporary storage space where your browser saves copies of websites, images, and other resources to make future visits faster. But over time, cached data can become outdated causing websites to load incorrectly or even creating security risks if sensitive data is cached. Clearing your cache ensures you're seeing the most up-to-date content and minimizes potential privacy risks. It also frees up storage space, which can improve your device's performance. If you want to prevent your browser from saving any history or data during a session, private browsing mode is the way to go. Also known as incognito mode, this feature stops your browser from storing history, cookies, or temporary files while you browse. This is useful for sensitive activities, like logging into a bank account on a shared computer, since no traces are left behind after you close the session. Keep in mind, though, that private browsing only prevents local tracking, it won't stop your network administrator or internet service provider from seeing your activity. Finally, let's talk about browser data synchronization. This feature allows you to sync your bookmarks, passwords, and browsing history across devices, making it easy to access your settings no matter where you're browsing from. While this adds convenience, it also comes with risks. If someone gains access to your browser account, they could potentially see synced data from all your devices. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.